Hello everyone, welcome to Mom Talks and Budget. Hope everyone is having great Tuesday. Tuesday means Transfer Tuesday, where we make our money moves um, into like a retirement, 401k, saving challenges, just for our future and our family. If you are new to my channel and you like saving challenges, you like um, investing, budgeting, um, please go ahead and subscribe and let's become friends because everybody need a friend. If you are my returning friend, you already know how much I love you. So did you guess what I'm doing in this video? In this video, I will be doing my um showing you my money moves that i made today by the time my video comes out it'll be wednesday but um it was my day off today and i actually had a really busy tuesday i had my daughter's uh, kindergarten screening today and then i actually went grocery shopping and then i um just you know spent time with kids my sister-in-law and my brother-in-law came over because uh, it was Eliza's birthday uh, on the 22nd and then my sister-in-law's birthday is on the 23rd. So we actually celebrated their birthday today. So we had the cake and stuff like that. So by the time I'm making this video, it is kind of late. I think it is 10, 30, 11 o'clock. The kids just went to bed. I know it's late, but once in a while, it's okay. So let's go ahead and talk about our uh, money moves. Um, in my Roth IRA, I contributed $200 and the total contribution that I have already made is $4,800, guys. You know, the total, you can only contribute is $6,000 and I'm already at $48,000. So my remaining is $1,200. I am done 80%. So I am very proud of myself. You guys already know I don't park my money in my just my account. I like to um, buy stocks so I can, you know, uh, get dividends and all that. So this week I actually bought um, VYM, which is Vanguard High Dividend uh, ETF. I bought it at $110.77 and now I have a total of 17.52 share. I bought SCHD, which is Schwab dividend and at I bought one stock for $77.93 and now I've told of 35.36 and then I also bought the um, Iron Mountain uh, at 55.74 and I actually have three stock now I know the market is like crashed today uh, it went really really down but that's okay I'm trying to dollar cost average and I am actually buying it for long term so I'm okay with that so let's go ahead and I always forget to do this so let's go ahead and put today's date and we actually um, did $200 so I am really proud of that and just want to let you guys know once I'm actually done with uh, contributing for this year I'm actually gonna start saving up for next year okay so we are done with this let's talk about um, our M1 which is our dividend portfolio and I put $300 in there and I had 10 buys I bought uh, Vanguard, the VOO, I put $20 in there. Federal Fidelity, Dividend, I put $20 in there. Coca-Cola, $20. JP Morgan, $20. And this is the new stock that I actually bought J&J, &J, which is Johnson & Johnson. I put $75 in there. Um, or Realty Income, $30. Exxon, $25. $8. Uh, Altria $30, OKE is $25, EPD is $16, and Starbucks is also one of my new purchases. I bought it for dividend and I got $20, uh, put $20 in there. So uh, my total share, uh, let's see, 
Uh, I'm still building some of the positions, but let's look at FDVV. I had six shares and now I have seven shares with that. Coca-Cola, I have three. Uh, let's see. Uh, Altria, I had five shares. And then EPD, I have seven. So I'm just building up my share. Uh, let's move on. Um, I did make some long-term purchases. I think I'm just going to wait for a bit because um i bought roblox i bought five shares of roblox at 37 dollars, and today i checked the price and it actually went a little bit lower um so you know i'm still trying to build up my position in dollar cost average um but now i have 21 shares of roblox i actually also bought mara uh, i bought five stocks at 21 dollars and 57 cents i think that would also went a little bit lower so now i have 20 shares of mara mara in the past, Mara has actually made me enough money to the point where I actually were, were able to pay my daughter's uh, fees. So, um, you know, it's it's win or gain. But again, this is something for long term. All right. So let's moving on to our saving challenges. I will do the scratcher challenge, which is this one, the roll it challenge. I got this from Hands and Bands. And let's go ahead and uh scratch off let's do two today and we will be doing let's do this one and i will be saving up at uh dr is dedicated retirement account um So that's one. And then let's see the second one. Let's do another red on this side. And that is in my saving. All right. So $40. All right. All right, so let's go ahead and so here is the $40 and we are going to go ahead and put that in envelope. Remember this binder was, I got that from uh, Budget with Emmy. So one was in here which was in retirement and then the next one was saving so we are gonna go ahead and put it right here all right so that is done all right uh let's see what's next and the next is my long-term saving. I do have money here, but I forgot my envelope. Uh, I forgot my binder. Um, and I'm just, it's its too late. So just know that I was going to put $100. Um, and I can do that later. So $100. Look at their writing. What does it say? I don't even know what it says. Somebody's name or? What? All right, whatever. Okay, whatever. Um, so I got I have hundred dollars. I do have twenty dollar bill. And again, I got this from my husband's wallet. I don't know why he gets hundred dollars in there, but it's mine now. And then I have two five dollar bills. Does any of you guys know I'll do that later? Um, so that's how much I'm putting in my long term savings. I'm gonna put that on the side. All right, so guys, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you there's a new money move that I actually am gonna be making. Um, I Again, I am not a financial advisor. I don't give any kind of advice. Don't take this as an advice. I do whatever it is for my family and what works for me. You might lose money. Please do your own research, guys. Again, I am not a financial advisor. Um, 
but I am going to go ahead and put $5,000 in iBond. Uh, if you do want some more information, uh, you can try Mommy Trader uh, channel. Um, and then she does recommend another channel as well that I'm going to put the link uh, down below. But please do your own research. Um, I But I'm going to be putting $5,000 in iBond. Um, and how I'm paying for this is, you guys remember I did a saving challenge and I had thousand something dollars that I finished. So thousand dollars actually came from there. Um, and then I took thousand dollars out of my paycheck that I'm going to get. So two thousand dollars were right there. So, so two thousand dollars from paycheck and saving challenge. Okay, um, and then $3,000 I'm actually using from my saving account. Um, and I think Ibon is going to make me more money than just putting them in a saving account. So, so that's how I got $5,000. That's all I could afford. So I am going to go ahead and buy iBond. That's a money move that I'm going to make. I actually made an account at the Treasury Direct um, website. And it was asking for my routing number for my bank. So I did put that in there. Um, so, but I'll be making the purchase tonight. Um, so that is the money move that I made. My next week goals are the same, guys that I am going to go ahead and try to build up my dividend portfolio, finish up my Roth IRA. And um, so dividends, my Roth. And I am just going to like just try to see if there's a long term um, that I am going to buy or not dollar cost average. Um, so and maybe do some research on some stocks okay so those are my goals you guys what money moves if you made it this far uh please let me know what money moves did you make this week if you made any money move these are my money moves that i made and thank you very much you guys please take care of yourself and please like the video and comment i truly truly appreciate it and you guys have a blessed day. Thank you. Bye. Love you.